What's up, YouTube? Silver and Cards here today. We bought more Hidden Fates. Why would we do that? Well, because we had somewhat crappy pulls on our tins. And it would be really cool to get that Hidden Fates taste out of, you know. And um, I never actually bought these ones, the pin collections. These were the first that came out that were going for, like, stupid money on eBay. I'm just going to rip them to shreds. Because I'm sure there's 10,000 promos of Mew and Mewtwo out there. Oh, ho, 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 ho. they do look super cool, though. Look at that. Very nice. I wonder if any of them are playable. And our code cards. Whew. Same time. Upside down. One's blocked. Wow. All right. Oh, well, at least the pin comes out easy. And yeah, let's get the plastic out of here. These are kind of cool. These look really good at my day job. I'll just put them on and um, show off a cool Mew and a uh, Mewtwo. Doing the Goku bomb. Let's get into it. Way too much delay. Oh. Oof, it's been a while. Favorite thing about this set, the code card is always white. There's no question. Does not mean you're guaranteed to get a great pull. Just means you don't know right away. Ooh, that's pretty BA. Look at that. Secret Magnemite. Very cool. Very cool indeed. And Bill's analysis. If I was going to get it rare, I'm glad it's that one. All right, one pack down, one secret. Uh, which is super cool. Alright, good card. Uh, let's see. Oh, reverse Ekans. Boo. Mr. Mine. Boo, boo. So there's four cards in the back. Yeah, so not so great on that pack. What do you think? I'm used to opening Force of Will lately. It's funny. These little packs are difficult sometimes. Alright, so it's five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Ooh, I did that wrong. <laughs> That's so funny. There's the Jesse and James card. Very cool looking. Yikes. I'll have to recalibrate it. Oh, look at that! It's a Quagsire secret. Super pretty. Ah, oh, Quagsire. Right on. I think my first two tins, I got two secrets. I've already gotten that in like three packs. The Hollow Jesse James is pretty cool. Not a, a great card to play with, but super cool for nostalgia. Oh, I think we got something good in this one. Perhaps another. Ooh, hoo -hoo. Badass, man. Guzzlord GX. Look at this freaking card. This is the way my other Hidden Fates openings should have gone. With at least something like this. It would be great. Oh, that's awesome. I don't think it's particularly a rare one, but... Ooh, just happy to see one. And there's Misty's Water Command. I got a ton of her doing my uh, openings. Because Lord GX Secrets. Not Mewtwo, not Charizard, but very cool indeed. Okay. Got a Psyduck and another Bills Analysis. Okay, well, hopefully that card's still worth a couple bucks. It also may have gone down <laughs> to 25 cents. I guess I'll find out later. Oh, come on. Open up. Okay, looks like we might have one more secret coming. It's a good way to end. Let's check it out. Okay, next card. No! This is what threw me off? A hollow energy? Oh, it's Starmie GX. So I got a GX. And <laughs> the reverse energy. Ah, way too many. Way too many of these hollow energies. They're always all around me. Starmie GX. So we got two GXs. 
uh, one of them the secret variety and yeah these are cool cards very cool so did I make back my 30 bucks from buying these I'm gonna say no but uh, fun to look at and I'm happy I finished with the GX secret so we can stop hitting fates now thanks for watching guys